Hello everyone, today I'll be talking about Saskatchewan Immigration Nominee Program or SINP and today it's about the expression of interest or EOI which was introduced year 2018. So here are the recent changes, details, cost and time, points, system and the step-by-step -step process. If you're interested uh, and if you do not want to pay hefty fees to consultants, please subscribe to this channel and more videos are coming up soon. SINP category, we have four categories. One is international skilled worker category. This is for the skilled workers abroad who want to work and live in Saskatchewan. Second is Saskatchewan experience category. This is for foreign nationals who are currently living and working in Saskatchewan. Third is the entrepreneur category. These are those who want to start a business in the province. And the farm category for experienced farmers who want to buy and operate farm in Saskatchewan. So today we'll be talking about international skilled worker category because I believe that this is uh, more applicable to uh, many immigrants. For international skilled worker category, there are sub three categories, three subcategories. One is the Occup Occupation in Demand or OID. Second is the Saskatchewan Express Entry. And the third one is Employment Offer. This is for international skilled worker with an employment offer from Saskatchewan. So you will need LMIA. So today we'll be talking about two subcategories, Occupation in Demand and the Saskatchewan Express Entry. Eligibility Criteria So here we can see that there are differences and similarities between the two subcategories. One is express entry profile for Saskatchewan express entry you are required to create a profile in the IRCC website unlike in the occupation in demand you don't need that second is minimum language score which is CLB 7 is the minimum required and for OID is only four Minimum education is the same for both, either degree, diploma, or certificate, and minimum one year long. For minimum SINP points, um, for both subcategory, you are required to um, score 60 out of 100. For the experience in SINP in demand occupations, you are required um, to have an NOC of 0, A, or B for both subcategories. For the minimum job experience, you are required to have one year in the past 10 years in that skilled profession. But I believe that um, having a one year experience will not make you reach the 60 out of 100. So as much as possible, you should have at least four or more years of experience. For the ECA or the Educational Credential Assessment, Proof of Funds, um, Police Clearance Certificate, and a Medical Test, um, in both subcategories, they are required. And for the Proof of Professional Status or Licensure, you are required to provide for the specific occupations. So please check the link in the description box. Other differences is that the authority who approves the application is um, the Government of Canada for the Express Entry and the Government of Saskatchewan for the Occupation in Demand. The processing time is much less in Express Entry. New Expression of Interest System so it is not an application to the SINP, but it is a pre-application process which allows candidates to fill in an online form to indicate their interest in applying to the SINP. 
and demonstrate their qualifications. Candidates with attributes aligned to the needs of Saskatchewan labor market and immigration objectives are selected from the International Skilled Worker EOI system. These attributes include connections to the province, work experience, and language proficiency. Those selected from the system are used are issued rather an invitation to apply. How EOI process works. First is you need to create an EOI profile and this profile is a different profile from the express entry profile in the IRCC website. This is directly in the government of Saskatchewan or SINP um, website. So then it goes to the EOI candidate pool, then goes to the selection, and then you get an invitation to apply. So let me explain further. You can submit the EOI profile by filing the online form. You can have only one EOI profile which will be valid for one year from the date of submission. Your profile will be ranked based on the points scored in the SINP system. ITA will be issued through regular draws. After you get ITA or the invitation to apply, you will have 60 days or 2 months to submit a complete online application to the SINP and provide documents that support the information you provided to the SINP in your EOI. Now, you will be required to pay an unrefundable $350 as of 2020 application processing fees, $350. Please take note that you will only pay this fee once you get an ITA and not, and not when you create an EOI profile. How candidates are ranked? The SINP expression of interest selection process will use a sequence that begins by identifying those with the highest score points. To select among those with equal scores, candidates with connections to Saskatchewan will be chosen first. These are people who receive points by having a close family relative in Saskatchewan and or past work experience in Saskatchewan and or past student experience in Saskatchewan. So if you have a close relatives and um, previous work experience, then you are given a priority. The next selection criterion will prioritize those with the highest number of years of work experience and the highest language scores because this would imply that you have um, more um, capability to, to contribute to the province. So I'll be showing you the website where you can find the point assessment grid. You can also find this in the link in the description box. So for the education and training, the maximum points that you will have is if you have a master's or doctorate degree, if you have a bachelor's degree or three or more uh, years of um, degree program then you have 20 points if you have a trade certificate then it's equivalent to 20 points next for the skilled work experience if you have uh, in the five-year period prior to application submission date the maximum you can get is 10 points if you have a five-year experience when you start uh, applying this 2020 then it means um, from 2015 to 2020 that's the bracket where you can get five points but if you have more than that in the six to ten year prior um, work experience to your submission date let's say 2010 to 2020 then you have um, 10 points now for the language ability, and the maximum you can get is 20 points if you have CLB of 8 and higher. 18 points when you have CLB 7. For the age, you can get a maximum of 12 points if 
your age is between 22 to 34 years old. And if you have a relative in Saskatchewan, close family relative, then you get an additional 20 points. If you have past work experience, then you have 5 points. So, the maximum points total here is 100 and if you're able to meet 60 out of 100, then you are eligible to apply. If you have any questions, just type in in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.